but a player who uh, looks like he's on the move, and I was caught a little bit off guard by this. Josh Curran, 24 years old. I think he'd be 25 by the time the season starts next year. Had a pretty good season. I know he did play off the bench a lot, but this is a bloke that didn't let anyone down. Now, he did overcome some some silliness. We'll, we'll, we'll leave it at that in the off-season last year. And it's largely been forgotten because I wrote today, you know, it's something that will be published on Zero Tackle, hopefully by the time this goes up. And the general feedback was that pretty much everyone I spoke to was like, yeah, we take Josh Curran. This is a bloke who, you know, is going to be made expendable because they've got some freaks over there and they're across the Tasman that they've got to re-sign. I, I feel like the Warriors might be making a mistake here and I don't think there'll be a lack of potential suitors. I hope Cronulla, full disclosure, are in that, that thing. I don't think he's exactly what we need, but if you offer it to him, I'm taking him in a heartbeat. What are your thoughts on Josh Curran? Josh Curran this year became the victim of a journalist who tweeted out the wrong thing and took too long to delete it. Now, I can't remember who it was, but someone tweeted that Josh Curran was guilty of assaulting a an underaged female in a nightclub. And that's when everyone turned on. Now, it doesn't make it any better that it was an underage male, but had he punched an underage female in the face, then he shouldn't be playing the game, right? I'd argue that he shouldn't be playing the game because he struck a minor, but that minor was in a pub or nightclub, wherever it was. So the initial outburst of Josh Curran this year was that social media had actually let him down, as well as him letting himself down, but it had let him down. And too many people had clung to the fact that he had assaulted a young girl. And by the time that it was corrected, you still had all those people going, no, he hit a girl, he hit a girl. And when you actually show them the evidence and the facts that it was wrong, no, no, he hit a girl. So that was that was it there. I think as the season went on and Josh Curran was able to not focus about this pending court case hanging over his head anymore and he's got to play his footy, he did really well for the Warriors. I think he was an integral piece that eventually got them in the top four. But as you said, they've got some really, really good players in their New South Wales Cup team. They've got some big forwards and they've got some players who are going to get pay rises as well. And they've also got someone named Roger Tuovasashek coming back into the competition. So if they've got to cut somebody to promote someone onto a minimum wage contract and Josh Curran is the person, then it's a very good business decision because, as you said, Josh Curran's a Sydney boy and there won't be any... um, you know, he won't be short of any suitors. And again, from the Warriors, you, you probably find they won't be paying a cent of his contract. But again, for Josh Curran, it just happens to be that it's the Tigers, it's the Dragons. Um, you know, uh, I think I read the Raiders as well. Not a bad move for him. Um, but Josh Curran is a player who can actually add a lot to a strong finals football team. And I look at him at the moment and I think, well, I know they didn't play finals this year, but I think, He's perfect for Parramatta. Uh, I think he's really... He'd make a great addition to Cronulla as well. Um, there are, you know... And he, he, he screams Manly. You know, he just looks like... He just looks like he belongs at Manly. So, um, I, I, I think I think he'll pick up a good home. He's a good player. Um, you've just got to keep him away from the booze in the off-season. But he's a very, very good player. Look, yeah, completely fair. Now, now, without... Hopefully, it's already published and probably even appearing, hopefully we're in the article right now. But I've said that if it's next year, I think Cronulla should go hard. I don't know whether they will. I know the Dragons will 100% go hard. Flanagan's come out and said that he'll sign any player who will improve the squad. Josh Curran walks into that squad. I, I had a Dragons fan say, what about the Bellum? What about the Bellum? Moving to the prop. You know, problem solved, who cares? Plus, this bloke can play in the back row just as well as he can play at lock. And then I said, but if it's the year after, I think he goes to Canberra. Because Elliot Whitehead announced his retirement, what, 48 hours ago? Who's a ready-made replacement for Elliot Whitehead? Whitehead, sorry? Josh Curran. So I, I think I think if he stays put, and I don't know what the terms are yet, because it's sort of broke as we're, as we're recording this or getting ready for it anyways, whether it needs to be now or, oh, cool, 12 months is okay. You it's, for, it's for 2024. Well, there you go. I think he, I think he's uh, the Dragons will be right up in there, and I'll be sure. I, th- I think the Dragons will be right up in there as well. But I, I, c- I could see him going to the Raiders, I, like right now. He would fit into the Raiders team because they, they've got some really, really ordinary forwards. So they do. He's um, a bit of a shock, but you know, I hopefully Cronulla hopefully Fitzy's on the on the phone. 